Hey guys, we're gonna go through and show you how the environmental systems work for the hydroponic greenhouse. So dad designed or installed most of the systems, so I'm gonna have him do a lot of the explaining. So in here, we have all the environmental controls. We have the backup generator controls. Uh, we actually purchased this from Crop King and it's got a Link 4 um, iGrow system on it, a 1400, and then it also came with uh, this system, which I'll show you in a second, and the electrical system. There's sensors in the greenhouse that tell the iGrow system what's going on. The iGrow system has predetermined, we've programmed it, so it has predetermined on-offs. And basically, this is a switch, and it tells these contactors to come on and off and these control the main power systems in the greenhouse. These pipes you see are um, the electrical conduit that actually run the electric lines. Inside here is electrical wires that um, I bent all the conduit and it all flows together but it goes out right here into the greenhouse. These red lines you see are one inch PEX lines that are the feed system from the wood burner. I've got two heat exchangers in the greenhouse and then the other side goes into the head house. This is a Heatmaster um, MF2000, 20,000, and it actually will heat 20,000 square feet so that it's uh, more than adequate to heat the 5,000 foot greenhouse and the head house at the same time. This is a self-contained system with water in it that heats it up to about 180 degrees and then circulates it through the system. This is a forced air system, so when it calls for air, uh, these two fans right here kick on and actually f feed the firebox. This is the control panel, and you can tell it what temperature you want it to go to in terms of how hot you want the water within the boiler system. It's got a light on it, and it just works absolutely great. So what kind of size logs can you put in it? So you could put five foot long uh, wood in there if you wanted to, but the problem, I can't lift it up. So no, I don't think anybody could. <laughs> so the problem is you just cut wood the normal size. You could make it bigger, but um, I usually stack it up and I just keep stacking it up until I get enough in there to last the night. This is the back part of the greenhouse and this is where the louver system is. On the other side of this uh, polycarbonate is the wet wall and this is one section of the greenhouse that has thrip screening on it to, re to prevent um, thrips and bugs and all that. Uh, this is the Mr. Cool system that I put in to air condition and um, heat, kind of. It's like a, a heat pump uh, for the head house and the reason we put this in was we obviously wanted air conditioning in the head house, but the heat pump works really good uh, around 50, 60 degrees to keep the head house warm. And it's just another backup system. We wanted to use internet back here so that we could control all of our uh, environmentals and systems. Um, I actually ran, uh, didn't run a cable. We actually put in a satellite system from the greenhouse back to the head house. And so I installed this and it's actually a beam system that uh, goes from the house up to here that actually transfers internet to the head house. So this is the gas line that goes in and feeds the greenhouse. And this line runs from the well in the back, the gas well, oil well in the back. We actually ran about 500 feet of two inch line to here. And then, like I said, one branches out, comes up, branches into here, into the greenhouse. And the other one runs over to and goes into the head house. So it's two different systems. I actually have it also uh, firing our backup generator, which we'll show you now. It's 22 kW. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. And this is automatic. It comes on um, as soon as the power goes off. We have a switch inside the head house that turns it on and off automatically. It also starts up once a week for maintenance and just does a great job. They warm Yeah, feel them. Oh yeah, well, they got warm fast. So these are the pipes that are coming in from the wood burner and they go up into this heat exchanger and with this heat exchanger I put a fan 
and we blow it straight up into the jet fan that feeds the greenhouse through the um, insulation tube. So in this area right here, we've got our main uh, gas heater, our backup gas heater, and then our wood burner heat exchanger there. Everything gets forced into this system here and then goes down through the jet fan. It also has automatic louvers, and all these systems are controlled by the iGrow system. So this is for the one bay, and then over there we have the exact same duplicate systems on that side of the greenhouse also. These are the air inflation systems for the greenhouse poly skin and one, one handles the sidewall and one handles the roof. This is a double poly system so this is all filled with air and it gives us a little bit of insulation. This is the exhaust fan. Again it's run off the iGro system. The system pulls air so when it pulls the air through the back of the system, back of the greenhouse, it comes up here, opens the louvers, pulls the air straight out. When I installed all the systems, I put in switches on all the fans, all the heaters, so that mom could um, switch off the exhaust fan if she needed to without doing anything with the iGro system. You look, there's a switch here, there's a switch up there for the heater, there's, there's switches everywhere that she can turn on and off anything that she needs to really quickly. We're gonna go back here and look at the cooling system. Oh, I see a flower, a cucumber flower. So this is the cooling system of the greenhouse. It's a wet wall. This is actually perforated cardboard. It's um, got a treatment on it. The water, actually, this is the, the reservoir. I have a water line that comes in with a valve on it. And then there's a sump pump in here that pumps the water up through a filter and then down the water wall. There's holes up here in this pipe that let the water trickle out and runs down back into this pipe and into the sump pump. So it's just recirculating. The iGro tells the pump to come on and also opens up the vent walls at the same time so that the air can come through here, pick up that cool water, and then transfer it down through the greenhouse. The wet wall is really nice in the summertime because it can be 100 degrees outside and this will drop it down to a nice 75 in here. But in the springtime, we'll get this all cleaned up before we get it running again. So I installed an ambient weather station in the greenhouse and I got extra sensors that we have throughout the head house, up in the attic of the head house, and throughout the greenhouse. And what this system allows us to do is not only monitor everything that's going on during the day, wind, sun, um, solar, all, everything, humidity. So if the greenhouse gets to a certain temperature, gets too cold, it'll text our phones and tell us that we have a problem. I also have this monitoring to our um, website. So if you go to bradwood.com, you can actually click on it and see exactly what our temperatures are and all that stuff during the day, anytime, any day of the year. Somebody asked me in that one tomato clip what those were. These are my stilts. And so when the tomatoes get up to the wire, I put these stilts on and I can walk around and <laughs> lean and lower and I don't have to worry about climbing up and down ladders up and down a million times. So I love my stilts. Okay, we're in the headhouse now and this is one of our uh, heat systems in the headhouse. This is natural gas. It's a Williams furnace. Um, works really, really good. It uh, brings in cold air from the top. It puts um, hot air out from the bottom. You have to pardon my mess here. This is all my leather crafting stuff. I do leather craft. This box, I have a water to air exchanger that runs off the wood burner. This is also on a thermostat right here. This is the inside of the Mr. Heat, Mr. Cool. Um, it's an air conditioner. It's also a heater and it's also a dehumidifier. When I was building the headhouse, I actually installed a security system. And so I've got a ca eight camera system and I've got cameras of the greenhouse all around the headhouse. And we can log into here and see what's going on back at the greenhouse, headhouse anytime also. 
I haven't really shown too much of the head house, but mom and dad built this themselves and dad put in some really cool countertops and he's got his leather working station over there. So I think we'll have to do a separate video and do a really in-depth tour of this sometime soon. I also put this in. This is one of our other insect exclusion. This is a air wall that um, is installed on the door going into the control tunnel. And when you open up the door, it blows down a wall of air. I think it's really um, lessened our bug problem if, if you have one. Well, thank you for doing the tour for us. We appreciate that. You're welcome. So when dad's not doing maintenance on the greenhouse, you can find him working on his leather. Yep. I uh, design and sew some purses. I do belts, uh, sandals, uh, camera bags. I've made holsters, um, just anything with leather. I just really like working with it. It's a great medium and um, it's fun to sew. guys dad and I were talking about possibly doing a, another video eventually on how we built the greenhouse the actual structure how we put it together and things like the NFT support system these pipes so if that's something that you would be interested in seeing let me know and let me know if you have any questions about anything thanks for watching